I mean, this butterfly is beautiful. Gorgeous. And it's just kind of iconic, right? Mm -hmm. Well, scientists say it's under severe threat, and mm -hmm. the population of the eastern monarch has dropped 80 to 90 percent mm -hmm. in the past two decades wow. alone. And yes, climate change is part of the reason. The monarch butterfly we consider to be that canary in the coal mine. That early warning of danger coming in July when the International Union for Conservation of Nature added them to the endangered species list. And they're the most well-traveled insect of North America. Known for its bright orange color and incredible annual migration, the eastern monarch travels 3,000 miles from New England to central Mexico each year, a journey that makes them vulnerable to climate change. As they spread out from Mexico every spring, um, one branch of that migration could reach a dead end if there's extensive pesticide use, wildfires, torrential floods, destruction of the milkweed plant, or not enough meadow flowers to drink from. That's where Tim comes in, a ranger for the city of Cambridge. He works with the butterflies as a way to promote our native ecosystems, leading a raise and release program from eggs to adults. We have some empty chrysalises with just the shell left. These ones emerged mere hour ago. Tim watches over them at every stage and when ready, tags them, marking each with an identifying serial number. What we're tracking to see is how many make it to Mexico, where they might stop along the way. Giving us the best estimate of how many monarchs are left in the wild. Critical insight in determining that we have lost 80 to 90 percent of the monarch population in the last two decades. A decline due not just to weather extremes like heat, drought or floods, but also loss of their main food source milkweed. So this milkweed is full of a toxic white latex based sap. And one very hungry monarch caterpillar can eat an entire leaf a day. And the decline in milkweed can be easily correlated with the decline in the monarch butterfly. Losing the monarch butterfly wouldn't just be losing one butterfly, but the first domino falling. Which is why raising and releasing monarchs here in Cambridge is so important. If we work hard to reverse the status of this being an endangered species and bring the monarch back, we could do other great across the continent. Oh no, goodbye. Aww. Goodbye, goodbye. Have a good trip to Mexico. <laughs> Incredible. Wow. And there is something you can do right now. Milkweed. It's the only thing those monarch caterpillars will eat. So plant milkweed. Mm. Other native pollinator gardens, you know, encourage butterflies to stop for a drink in your backyard mm -hmm. as well. So really, if you increase what they eat, you will increase the monarch butterfly. Every time I see one, I really feel like mm -hmm. to take take a minute to watch. They're beautiful. They're gorgeous. They know right where the camera is because they flew right yes, towards it. Oh. <laughs> Great.